we need thee every every hour we need thee oh bless me now my savior we come to to thee I need I need thee O oh Lord I need thee every yes every hour Lord I I need thee to bless me now my Savior and I come to to thee good morning God bless you welcome once again to the He's a Wonder Music Ministry of Apostolic Faith Conference Prayer Line where we come weekly to praise, magnify, and worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, giving him the honor and praise and glory that is due unto him. How are you this morning? I hope you are well. I hope when you are listening to this that you are in good health and mental stability and that God is either answering your prayers or have answered your prayers and that you believe and trust in him for he is the source of our satisfaction. He is the source of our satisfaction. There was a song some years ago saying, I can't get no satisfaction. That's because they were looking to man They were looking to humans. When we look to God, the author and finisher of our faith and our fates, the one who controls the weather, the one who says yea and or nay, the one who can turn our lives around with just a spoken word. When we go to him and seek satisfaction, first of all, in the spiritual, God will meet us, in most cases, beat us there. What I'm here to tell you this morning is that God is waiting for us. He's waiting for us to humble ourselves and pray. He's waiting for us to seek his face. And above all else, he's waiting on us to turn from our wicked ways. Now, I have been driving for the past 30 plus years of my life. And I have seen and done legally. And there were some illegal times. God forgive me of making U-turns. You find out you're going the wrong way or there's an accident or there's something in the road or whatever the reason is, you need to go back from whence you came. Well, in this case, we need to make a U-turn and not head towards sin, but head away from sin. We know that sin is in front of us because in some cases we get on the road to go to sin And we need to realize that God is not with us at that moment. God will not keep us if we continue to disobey his word. So if there's ever a time where you need to make a spiritual U-turn, don't go tell anybody that the pastor said it's okay to just make U-turns. I'm saying in the spirit. We need to make a U-turn from the wrong road that we are on and get on the right road to Jesus. Get on the right road to Jesus. Turn from your wicked ways. Then will you hear from God and he will heal your body and heal your land and deliver you from whatever it is that is afflicting you and that you are addicted to. God is better than Alcoholics Anonymous. God is better than a nicotine patch. God and only God through The suffering and sacrifice of his son Jesus is the only one who can keep you. He's the only one that can save you. He's the only one that can deliver you and set you free. 
from the path of sin that you may be on today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm here to let you know that Jesus can, Jesus will. But what are you going to do? Are you going to seek his face? Are you going to humble yourself and pray? Are you going to acknowledge that you cannot do it on your own and go to God and say, Lord, I tried the rest. Now I'm standing here in need of the best. Because the song said, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. And I'm going to tell you this morning before we pray for the children that Jesus is the best thing that will ever happen to you. You can have a million dollars. You can have the best wife, the best husband, the best clothes. But until you get Jesus, you have not experienced the best that you can experience in this world. No matter where you go, no matter what planet you may find yourself on, you need to have Jesus. Jesus is the best thing that can ever happen to you. Now, tomorrow, August 22nd, in the year 2022, the children of CPS in the area, in the district that my daughters go to, will be returning to school. I wrote a song a few years ago uh, saying school is out for summer. The governor has set them free. Lord, will you keep us, help us, if you please. There's trouble in the land. Lord, we need your help. The children are being killed in their houses with stray bullets and hit by cars and all sorts of evil. Lord, will you protect the youth today? And now the song concludes because school starts tomorrow, that school is starting in the morning. But Lord, we need you now. School is starting tomorrow, but Lord, we need you today. We, don't, we can't afford to wait until the morning. We need you now. To bless us, to keep us, and deliver us from the evil that we don't know that is coming. From the evil that is all around us. We need your arms of protection to keep and deliver us. As we take our children to school, as they walk to school, as they take the bus, as they drive. However, what means of transportation they get there. We need your protection to precede us before they even get to the building. Lord, I'm praying right now that you occupy every classroom, every seat, Lord, every school, every parking lot, Lord God. The street that lead to the school, the workers that are out there to assist the children. Lord, I pray right now. Now in the name of Jesus, that you cover them with your blood, that you protect them, that you give them a mind to seek you, let their parents seek you and pray for them and let the children in some cases pray for the parent. But the main thing we need to do is pray, seek your face. Turn from my wicked way so we can then receive a message that only you can deliver. Father, the word in Psalms 127 reads, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a blessed reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy, happy is the man who has a quiver full of them. He shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with his enemies in the gate. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a blessed reward. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, this prayer is for the children who have already started school and for the ones who will, with your mercy and grace, Deo Valente, will rise tomorrow morning, reluctant or grateful, happy or not, start school tomorrow morning. 
Father, I'm praying right now that as the words come forth from my mouth, that you are already at the school. You are already in the division. You are already in homeroom. You are already in the lunchroom. The, you are already in the gym room. You are already in the swim class. You are already in home ec. You are already in auto mechanic. You are already in computer science. You are already in the parking lot. You are already in the teacher's lounge. You are already in the principal's office. You are already on the rooftop and in the basement, in the boiler room where the heat and the air conditioner is. You are already there. You are there already waiting with open arms, protecting children from all sorts of hurt, harm, and danger. You are there. We claim the victory over this entire school year. We claim the victory over every classroom, every student, Lord God, every parent, every guardian. We claim the victory over scholastic achievement. We claim the victory right now, Lord, that that child's mind is open to learn what the teacher has to say. Lord God, bless the teachers that I learned, that are teaching the students. Bless the principal and everyone that works in the building with the children bless Lord God let all doors that need to be locked be locked and let all doors that need to be open be open Lord God let everything work according to the way it's supposed to so that the children can be comfortable in an environment to learn Lord God in safety and in comfort Lord God and let them return home and bless the homes that they live in Lord God take away the evil that is in the homes right now give them Lord God peace of mind to do their homework so that they can achieve scholastically and go on to the next level. Lord God, bless the young doctors and nurses. Lord God, bless the mechanics that are coming forth. Lord God, bless the rocket scientists and the, and Lord God, the astronauts and everyone else that is coming forth even right now. Bless grammar school, high school, college, High school diplomas, master's degrees, doctorates, Lord God. Bless, heal, and deliver. You already know the children are going to walk across the stage right now. You already know the salutatorians and the valedictorians. You already know. So we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you right now in the spirit. We already lift up the diplomas that are ready to come. We already know, Lord God, that you know everything. And we give our hearts and minds to you because you already know which little kid right now is going to grow up to be the next doctor. You already know which child is going to grow up to be the next master mechanic. You already know the child is going to be the master plumber and the master electrician. We know that you already know the culinary chef that's coming forth right now. We know that you know all things. The child of God that's walking into school for the first time, you already know that they're going to walk out with a degree. You already know where they're going to work. You already know where they're working and who they're going to marry and how many children they're going to have. You already know all these things. So we thank you. We praise you. Some people are starting school and they don't have what they need. Lord God, I'm praying for them. Some people have a list of what they need and they don't have the finances or the resources. I'm praying for them. I'm praying for my family and my grandchildren, Lord God, and their parents, Lord God, and my children. Lord God, I'm praying for them that they walk into the door of the school and say, This is the shot of my This is the day that the Lord has made. I've never been in this building before, but bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, Jesus, let them walk through the door with faith. They may be a little scared on the outside, but let the power of God flow in them like the blood that's flowing warm in their veins. Let their eyes see the coming of God in all the things that they do, both spiritually, physically, and academically. Lord, I pray right now that you let the Spirit Come down. 
and bless the teachers, bless the students, bless the, 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 the faculty workers. Lord God, bless each and every person in and around the school. Let that person that means to do evil to the building, Lord God, have a change of heart. Let them put that gun down and that rock down and, and let the pedophiles and those who are out to harm the children, let them turn from their wicked ways and seek your face. Lord God, destroy the enemy's work that he's got planned because the word says no weapon formed against me or them shall prosper destroy it in the face of those who make it so they would see that the power of God beats anything that the enemy can do oh hallelujah oh hallelujah praise his name oh hallelujah praise his name oh hallelujah glory to God let them walk into that building knowing that they're going to walk out with a degree, with a diploma, knowing something and learning something they never knew before. And they can go home and teach their mother and their father or they can tell their grandparents or fellow students they can help the man down the street. Lord God, they can help somebody by saying, I learned and I'm willing to teach. I learned and I'm willing to share. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, oh Jesus, be acceptable in the sight of the Father. Shine the light of heaven upon my soul. And if you find anything, I don't care how small. It may be size of a mustard seed, remove it. Just grain of salt, remove it. Whatever you find, a brick, a tree, a mountain, remove it, Lord God. Take it out, Lord. And then strengthen me so that once you take it out, I don't, I don't feel like a, a piece of cheese with holes in it with no stability, but feel it, Lord God. Let me have no holes in my armor so I can go forward. Keep me. Keep the children. Keep the parents. Keep the the deliver the, the guys who are going to drive the people who are going to drive the children back and forth. Or God, keep the, the teachers and and like I said, the faculty workers and even the janitors and those who sweep the floors. Lord God, help, 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 Lord. And Father, we will be so careful to praise and magnify and worship you lift you up and give you the honor and glory that is due that you are worthy of and we and I will thank you for everything that you have done meaning everything that you've done yesterday today tomorrow the class of 2022, the class of 2023, the class of 29, uh, uh, 20, uh, uh, 40, the class of whatever the year is, I thank you for them already. The new doctors and the new nurses and the new plumbers and the new electricians, Lord God, the new mechanics, Lord God, the new chefs, Lord God, the new teachers, the new principals, Lord God, I thank you for what you've done. And we consider it done right now. In the sweet holy name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And we will say, Amen. Today's prayer is targeted, meant for, directed to, intended for the children that are starting school and those who have already started. Some have experienced traumatic situations over the summer, lost loved ones and fellow students. Lord, we pray for their minds. We pray for this upcoming school year that you are preceding the children, the teachers, and everyone else. Let us have a good report at the end of this school year that you made a way. Our backs may be against the wall, and it may look like it's all over, but you and only you can make a way. So I'm standing here only because you made a way. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Boys and girls, this has been Pastor Carl Dell D. James Sr., pastor and founder of He's a Wonder Music Ministries of Apostolic Faith, based in Chicago, Illinois, where we believe that God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And Jesus is the best thing that ever will ever happen to you and to me. Until we come together again, may God bless you. For more information about He's a Wonder Music Ministries, give us a call. The phone number is and has been for the last 20 plus years, 773-593-4972. You can visit us on the web at www.he'saWonderMusicMinistries.org. May God bless you and may God keep you today and forevermore. Amen.